I have been asked to make a scholarship on Elasmus Mundo scholarship. This is gonna be a very informative video. The first part of this video, which we're gonna take few minutes, is to check the overview of the scholarship. Then I will show you how to fill the application form. The application form is the most difficult thing part on this scholarship. I made one example of how to fill the application form. Please, I invite you to watch this video. You can take my form as an example then it help you to fill the application form so let's go check what are the main requirements for this scholarship the scholarship is for 2003-2004 so we start next year it's european scholarship so it's part in different participating universities you do this scholarship at least in three countries that's the best part of this scholarship different countries it's for masters the application is open till January, so this is the time to apply. Uh, regarding uh, regarding benefits, this is a very generous scholarship, so everything is covered: expenses, uh, monthly spend, spend, living expenses, and everything, including travels and uh, health insurance. And in addition, you get more than a thousand. Uh, euros for living expenses every month and in some parts of this scholarship they give even 100 1400 euros so this is a very generous scholarship in addition to this you'll be moving to different countries and you will be everything will be taken account by scholarship so if you started this scholarship in belgium you will go either in france and in Austria, so we have to make three countries. Eligibility, this is one of easy scholarship. Uh, list of participating countries is this, it's a big list. And to graduate, you have at least to pass in three countries. Eligible courses, this is a list of eligible courses. If by chance you have any course here, then please try your chance. Look at here what is not required for Erasmus. There is no, there is no requested. Uh, you don't need to contact professors. You work experience is not required. Uh, no age limit. People with a low grade also have a chance in this scholarship. Some university will request IRET, but not all universities. Check your program if it requires to have to submit this IRET. So, as I said, I'm now on Lash. We're gonna click here. So, I will put this link down in the description so you can go on this website. Then, once you, you click the link, you come on this page. This is the official page of the scholarship. And here is a list of programs. There are many programs which are available till 11. So, there are many programs you can check. Uh, for me, I think because we want to use our time wisely, let's not check many programs. Let's at least check one or two program and the one I will use as an example. So let's go to this program. I took this program as example how to apply. So as you go on the website, all those are information that you have to read. You have to read this information if you want to apply to this program. Then you go here, so you check how to apply. So this is website, this is how to apply. Application procedure, you read all those information. So how to apply, so your application will be both for the scholarship and admission. So this is our information that I invite you to read before you start your application. But to be faster, read, try, go on, apply now. So when you go, you come here for you because you didn't apply, you will open your, you will sign in, then they give you uh, this application form. Sign in, you will have this open form. This form, you can see how I filled this as example to your program. 
in this filling the application form so this is the first you would your gender your nationality it's a link you choose you choose which one uh, for me i'm rwandan your date of birth you put when you have born place of birth you put this country of the birth that country where you have a born and your id or passport number here if you have a passport use your passport if not yet you don't have a passport you can use your id number that's okay marital status you will choose here single marriage or cohabitation number of children special need in special need that means you have a kind of disability or anything so you will put it here it's nice because they will give you some other care which you need it will not it will not affect your application have visited institution european no i didn't uh permanent address this is where you are living now so your permanent address and please make sure it's not in europe so you put your street number the city postcode so depending on which country you are you live in then which country so it's a big risk you can choose the country a phone number which can be used to contact you you put your phone number that you have now this is a phone number of someone they can contact in case you are not available or in case they need someone else this is a number uh, for my advice please add someone who is available we don't know but mainly if you you can put your spouse your parents or your brother or your sister someone who knows you well who they can contact even in case you are in europe and they need to contact someone back home put uh, one number permanent com company so for me this was weird so i can put work the company where you are working with so i think uh, that's what they mean uh, then you go save and continue okay then you put your reference details here you will not uh, attach your reference you will just add information then they will contact referee to give you the reference so uh, my advice when it comes on reference please make give the fit make your academic referee and second your professional one and for academic please please make sure you add your main lecturer and or preferably put your thesis supervisor the one who supervises your thesis so you put the name position senior lecturer address and phone number fax in case but mainly put the email address and the website is the website of the university if is from a university and for email it's better if you put a working email not a gmail the second one please put this your working referee like your boss your supervisor or someone who knows you professionally so then education background this it's is you put your title title of your diploma So for me was bachelor degree in biology, uh, language, knowledge. So for this, you remember this is an English. If you are native speaker, you don't need to present anything in this program. So you have to fill in mainly it's English level they're asking. You are asked which test you did. So you will choose check on the website of your program if they can accept anything other than uh, ILET or TOEFL. So check what they can accept 
then you fill in. If you have I read or story query, that's okay. If your program can accept a proof that you did your bachelor in English, you can just add this. Other languages, uh, if you speak French, please add this because maybe you can choose to go to France. If you speak Spanish or other language, that's also good. You can add more. Save and continue. Once you click save, everything is saved. Professional experience. This you put the employer or employee or institution. Put your the company where you are working. For me, I put that I'm working in a protein research institute. You put your address, many city, or you can even add street. You can add street in Kigali, some 20. Kigali, Rwanda. That's a title or function. You can put which title you have, a small description. So you explain in brief what is your function, what you do in the company. Uh, and you will add when you started and the end date. So if we have more than one, if we have more than one uh, employer, you can click here. This is a red one. You click, then they give you more. Okay, then the next step is to attach document. Uh, when is with you see this red like this, that means uh, missing document. Uh, when you see this uh, arrow like this, it, it's already sent. This is a missing document, but it's optional, so you can add or not. Uh, okay, this is a list of all needed documents. I can show you how to add any document. Let me remove this. So you see, it now became this. X in red color. This, the first document is your curriculum vitae, your CV. Then you give a short description. To put a short description for me, uh, this, I get a little bit confused what kind of description they want. But even when you put the name of the document, I think for me that will be enough. Then you click here, so then you attach. And you see here was green and it's like this. Then you add to send document. So now you see my CV is accepted. The same to your photo, you will attach the, the picture as I did. This will make a very nice official passport picture. So uh, this is a, a weird document because it's not other scholarship requested this. So you have to give a notified document that uh, which is a proof that you are resident in this area. So you can either go to the when the same municipality, it's like uh, it's official, you can go to ask uh, local authorities a proof that you are in that area as a student where you are registered or anything. In many cases, I think you can go for any any uh, local local authorities. They can give you a way stamp document. Then you bring it to the to the notary. Then when it's notified, you can submit this document. I think it's a weird document, but it's easy to get. Manuscript rare stating that you are not resting in any EU member state. So this is a document they ask you to make to prove that you, you don't live in Europe, in European Union. You make this document yourself and you sign. This is a 
I put an example of this document. You can click here. So you can click here, then you get a sample which looks like this. Let me see, show this to you. So you make a document like this. You put your name, passport number, press where you stay. You make it, you sign. And this have to be handwritten. You write it by your hand and you sign. This is a document that you have to attach here. Uh, this is a certificate proof of your English proficiency. So depend on your university, you will know what you add. This is recommendation recommendation you will not have where to attach this but you remember your 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 professor or anyone the one you send us request they make a reference letter they will send the reference letter once they are sent you will see here it will change so you will not do anything but your application will be complete if we have this letter already so make sure you make a follow-up that they submit this document uh, there is optional document a certificate if you have any certificate that you think either for english or anything that you think may be interesting this scholarship you add this uh, if you want to submit another reference letter you can attach other documents, other documents, any document that you think is important, but mainly for me, I don't see any other important document. Then your document will be ready to be sent. Once they send you uh, reference, your reference sends the document, you will your documents will be okay will be done your form will be done then you press send but meanwhile we can download you have a pdf of your application but you don't need it to print just print to have it once it is full this will be activated then you can submit. So this is all about this application form. You can use this example and you make it to fill your own application form. And in case you meet any issue, please type down in the description. And thank you so much. If you like our videos, please give thumbs up. I made a good job. If you want to say anything, don't live without leaving any comment ciao and good luck